Hello, and welcome to Missionary Hattie Humphrey's 2020 Christmas closeout service. It's virtual this year, it's a little bit different. My name is Michael Van Tool. I am a co-host of Community Highlights with Missionary Hattie Humphrey on the Detroit Praise Network Sunday mornings. We are here at Greater Pentecostal Temple. As you can see, it's empty in here today, and that's why we're doing this virtual because we are not able to meet with you individually today, all in one place, so we're here virtual at Greater Pentecostal Temple on the east side of Detroit where Bishop C.M. Laster is the presiding prelate. Um, we're gonna look at some exciting things today. We've got a couple of video clips of uh, a couple of important people. We've got uh, um, Missionary Hattie Humphrey is gonna speak to you today too, and so, and we've got some music for you too. As you may know, Missionary Hattie Humphrey uh, has been a fixture on TV and radio in Metro Detroit for many years now, and I've been co-hosting with her for a couple of decades now. Um, she's a, a, a spiritual advisor to a number of candidates, many who are sitting on the bench right now or in office downtown Detroit. Um, and she's also a mentor to many pastors and bishops in Metro Detroit. Uh, her annual birthday banquet now has become one of the biggest religious and political banquets in Metro Detroit every spring. And the radio program, it's the longest running inspirational community affairs program of its kind in Metro Detroit. So we are glad that this lady, she's an icon to the masses, but I tell you what, to you and me, she's a friend that you can count on in the time of need. I call her Detroit spiritual ambassador, missionary Hattie Humphrey. And I'm excited to be a part of this virtual year end Christmas closeout celebration. That's what we call it. Uh, and we're here at Greater Pentecostal. We're gonna hear from uh, a, a prophetess, Christy Laster uh, Andrews, and we're gonna be uh, talking to her shortly about her uh, missionary's impact on her life and on this community. Thank you. It's a privilege to be before you today to honor missionary Hattie Humphrey during this virtual celebration. She has been so impactful to many individuals across Michigan and then in other states as well. So I do consider it a privilege to be a part of her birthday banquet committee, to be a part of the Community Highlights radio show that has been going on for many years before I had the opportunity to join. So today we will provide an opportunity for you to sow into her ministry. If she's impacted your life in any way, as she's been a blessing to you, an advisor to you in any way, or you've seen how she's blessed someone and you want this great work to continue on, please, we ask that you would just sow a seed that she, so that she can continue to do this great work across the states. Again, my name is Prophetess Christy Andrews, and I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas. I'm Evangelist Trevis Colvin and I'm going to pray. Please join me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We thank you for love, kindness, grace, mercy. We thank you for your protection. Father, you have kept us safe all of 2020. As the year comes to an end, we just want to say thank you for sparing our lives, for protecting us and for keeping us, for supplying all of our needs. Father, we thank you in advance that you are going to end this pandemic. For your word lets us know that this too shall pass. Father, we thank you for how you have kept us safe every every place we've gone, every person that we've been in contact with, everything, God, you've kept us safe and you've protected us from getting gas to the grocery store, for working in the office. Father, we thank you for keeping us safe. And now, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you would look on missionary Hattie B. Humphrey. Father, we want you to undergird her with divine strength. Cover her and keep her. Order her steps, Lord. Let her be led by you. Let her be guided, Father. Surround her, O oh God. God, and keep her, Lord, with those that love her, those that lift up her arms, Lord. Continue to bless her, God, that she may be a blessing to others. Let 2021 bring her great joy, peace, power, and protection. In Jesus' name, amen.
grateful out there just lift your hands right where you are come on right here. Missionary had to be Humphrey, oh my goodness, a wonderful woman of God. We love you. Our family loves you. You are family to us. We adore you. We feel like you're God sin. God has smiled on you, on your life. We thank you for the years and dedication to the ministry that you've given. We thank you that you have been a light, a beacon of light in this city, in this community. I would say even in the world, from Arkansas to Michigan, God has blessed your life to be a blessing to many around the world. And so we love you. If there's anything you need from us, you know we're here. All you have to do is call us. I'm your, your grandson. Amen. I'm your grandson, and we love you with our life. We love you from the bottom of our heart, and God bless you. Many years to come, many great things to do for the Lord. And we just thank God that we're part of your life and that you're part of ours. God bless you, Missionary Hattie B. Humphrey. I was born in Rowe, Arkansas. 
19 and 28. And I was blessed to have a wonderful mother and father. And they brought me up the best that they could. We had to uh, pick cotton and uh, uh, we had to do all of that, picking the cotton. And then going to school, I went to school at Rowe, Arkansas, and different things. We would have, there was no bus. You, my father, my mother and my father, we had to ride on uh, the wagon. And my father was on, on well, I guess you would say a plantation. And when I was 12 years old, I, I went with my father to work. At least I always would like to keep up with them because I being the oldest child, I kind of helped my daddy said I helped him out because we plowed. Uh, he had the chance to let me plow the mule. We had to go to the, uh, uh, go to, if you want to go to the restaurant, you uh, go to the bathroom. You have to go to the back of the, uh, you would have to go to the back of the store. They would have places for you to buy your food. If you want a hamburger, hot dog, you couldn't go to the front. You would have to go to the back. Coming up, we went to church. My mother was a Christian woman. It's a country service, country church. She always would care me to church. sat on the morning bench for about three days. The first time I was on that morning bench, I was ready to get off the morning bench because my uh, schoolmaking thing was getting off. My mother said, go back. You ain't got nothing. And uh, I stayed on the morning bench for about three days. And something did happen to me. And it was the Holy Spirit got a hold of me. I met a man that day called Jesus, and I hadn't been ashamed. And, and, and going down through the years of traveling on life journey, I would go to different churches, hear different preachers, and I tried to be still. Uh, when the service would start going on, I tried to be cool. Well, it wasn't cool in there, well, whatever it was, I was trying to be there. So I got to shouting in those days, just couldn't help when the preacher would say something Bible, good. I couldn't help but jump up. The same God that touched my mother, he laid his hands on me. It ain't really about where you belong, it's who you got in you, where you are. If you really got the God that I am, it'll teach you and guide you on in all directions. And I'm mighty proud of myself because I take my angel and Jesus Christ with me everywhere I go. If you learn to be kind to people, you never know what a person is going through in life. Just treat people nice, black, white, green, or whatever color you are. Be nice to people. Kept on working until I got the age of 17, 15, and the Lord sent a man from Michigan, and I met him at an Arkansas picnic, and we got together and I fell in love with him, and uh, he fell in love with me, he came back and married me, and brought me to the city of Detroit. I thank God for my husband that was so nice to me and stood with me all of the years until he passed away. My favorite uh, is going down in Arkansas with my brother Lewis, where he have a quite a big farm and the people from all over the country come around December. Duck hunting is my favorite uh, sport. And I do kill ducks and uh, I don't care about eating them, but we go out, me and my brother, and we hunt. 
Then in April, I go to St. Louis, Missouri with my, with my niece, uh, uh, Jeannie. We fish, and I love to fish, and we do catch fish. And uh, I, those are my two sports. I love to get out there and hunt and fish. I love Christ so much because he saved me. I love him so much because I look to no other God but him. I love him so much because when he went to Calvary and he died for me, I would love him so much because he is my God. I have no other God. I don't care where I go, what I hear. There is not but one Savior in my life, and that's Jesus the Christ who died on Calvary Cross. He gives me the right people, the right direction to go. He, he takes care of me. He keeps my mind. Your mind is very important, but if you give it to the Lord, He will keep you and He will direct your every step of the way. Had not been for the Lord on my side, I couldn't be here to tell this. And I love the Lord. You must love Him. He must love Him. And He'll keep you in perfect peace. The Lord has blessed me with so many people all across the country, everywhere. They make me feel good. They say they got something out of my life. And uh, that's good. When you get a little older me, you kind of forgot what you did yourself. <laughs> so I thank God I, I've been able to, uh, to help people. And lots of us, the preachers and things that I help on radio and different things that I've done. And uh, I'm proud of that. God bless you. God keep this city. God keep all of these people a community highlight the Marks and all of the people that helps me, my church and everybody. I love all of you people. All, it had not been for all y'all, I wouldn't be this far. I wouldn't have come this far. But by the grace of God, you've been with me. So many of you, I love you so much. You're so sweet. I would kiss you, but I don't think I'd do nothing like that. I just say, God bless you. Hello, missionary. Merry Christmas. I just wanted to say that I love you, and without you, my life would not be as full and as glorious. I've learned so much watching you and listening to you, and your stories bring me so much joy. I just want to take the time, just a moment, to tell you I love you, I wish you well, and I thank you for all your prayers. I thank you for your wise counsel. I just thank you for being you. Merry Christmas, missionary. From my house to yours, I love you. Greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's just an honor to talk about a woman that, that has I've known down through the years that has certainly been a blessing to the greater Pentecostal temple, been a blessing to me. Uh, you thank God for knowing her. I have coined the word Miss Detroit. I'm talking about missionary Hattie Humphrey that has just gained so much uh, of uh, our love and attention here at the Greater Pentecost Temple. My kids love her. The, the Greater Pentecost Temple love her. She, Like I said, she's just been a tremendous blessing helping people that were less fortunate and even those that have gotten in trouble. Uh, she's been there for us and we certainly appreciate a woman of God that knowing her 
and she's just so giving and so caring and over community highlights and I've, I've looked forward to annually her birthday celebration wherein many of the judges, uh, prominent people of the city of Detroit and around the world that respect this woman of God. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you Miss Detroit, the Honorable Missionary Hattie B. Humphrey. God bless you and we love her. God bless you. God bless you today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Truly God has been good to me down through the years. We get it ready to celebrate the annual going home to Arkansas to help those that are down. But just before this year, so many things have happened. So many things are going to happen. But for those that love the Lord, God is still in charge. I thank God today for this beautiful affair. So many that was here last year won't be able to be with me and to do the thing, but we still carry on. We blessing all of those peoples here and there. We bless you today. We thank God for you today. And remember, whatever you do and wherever you go, don't forget the main man now is in part of your life is Jesus Christ. I take him with me everywhere I go. You see me this morning, child, I'm looking mighty fine because I'm on the Lord's side, feeling mighty good. This is the hour that we can care for one another. This is the hour that you can think of not only your family, but the family across the world. And most of all, let's think of our, those that are in charge. God will care for you as long as you just open your mouth and say something about him. I thank God today for the committee, to all of those that surround me and what you're going to, you're going to do something. And I love you for that, that we can continue to always bless our people. And I just thank God for this opportunity. I bless you today, not only today, but forever. And when you bow tonight, or whenever you bow, let's don't forget to think of others. You know, when I was coming up, most people just thought of their family. But all of the peoples are your family. Let's don't forget to pray for our leader. If there ever was a time they need some help, we need to call on God to help them today. God loves America. He done so much for our country and our leader. Wars and tribes and tribulation had not come to this country like it did others. That's because there are people in Zion are praying for them. Today I'm so grateful to God and I know you're going to keep on praying. There's hope, but it's got to have it in the Lord. Keep the faith, keep up, be nice to yourself. When, hey, men and women, this is a good hour for you to go back the old way. What do you mean, missionary? Huh? You know, a lot of y'all hadn't kissed your wife and loved one another in a long time. This is the hour for you to do that. Hug on one another. Love on one another. Love your children. Women, cook some dinner for your wife. Some of y'all ain't cooked this year. This is the hour for you to come together in love. Just like you all are loving on me. You know I got the, in an age, played 90. And I wouldn't be this poor if y'all hadn't been good to me. God love you and you're going to love one another. God bless you. God keep you. Stay on the Lord's side like me and it make you feel good. I hadn't had a drunk drink today, but if you drink the Holy Ghost, you'll be all right, baby. That's what's happening to me. The Holy Ghost caught a hold of me and I ain't been the same since. Don't I look good? Bless you. Thank you so much for joining us for this celebration. Wasn't that interesting and different? Well, we've had a different year, but thank you for your support for Missionary Hattie Humphrey, and you can continue, let your friends know. There's a PayPal me link, and you can also mail it to Community Highlights, care of Missionary Hattie Humphrey, 24681 Northwestern Highway, Suite 3005, Southfield, Michigan, 48075. 
And of course, you can always call and we'll make arrangements for you, 248-516-8300. Again, my name is Michael Van Poole. Thank you so much for supporting Missionary Hattie Humphrey. Merry Christmas. God bless you all. We know, you know, that missionary loves to have church. And so just for a few minutes, if you would join in with us, I need you to clap your hands where you are and stop your feet. We don't have a drummer. We just got me and the piano. So if you don't mind, just join us and let's have a little church right now. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. That's it. I want to thank you, yeah, for being yeah, so good to me, so good to me. And I said again, church, Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I just want to thank you. Yeah, yeah, Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, yeah, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. to me. Let's do this. You've been my bread when I was hungry. You've been my water when I was thirsty. You've been my shelter in the time of the storm. Yeah. Never left me alone. Yeah. I want to thank you for being so good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, church. Missionary, we love you so much. God bless you.